Good afternoon, uh, First Lutheran Facebook friends. Pastor Brian here, and uh, it's it's a beautiful sunny day. Uh, finally, feels like summer has arrived, and and I'm at outside Rosedale in Covington, and I'm gonna turn around because there's a train going by, of course, uh, right there, just to announce it's coming somewhere. <laughs> there it is. And it's probably going to last the next 10 minutes, so we're going to have to deal with that. I thought Washington Park was a noisy place with streetcars and buses. But uh, uh, here I am out in the yard of Rosedale Green, where Joanne Coder uh, has lived for these uh, during the pandemic for the past couple of years. And uh, uh, her, and then on the other side of the tracks is uh, my friend Helen, Linda's mom. I uh, just visited her. I uh, had a great visit there and got caught up on uh, uh, the stories of life. And it's good to be able to get out and uh, see people. Uh, it's a new reality as of Sunday. Uh, and Pastoral Intern Tyler has completed his journey with us. And we had a farewell, Godspeed sending for him. Uh, and But that means uh, uh, Pastor Sam and myself will be picking up a little more preaching on Sundays. Uh, but then Facebook on Wednesdays, you get yours truly again. Uh, I'm sure Matthew will be jumping in once in a while uh, to share a message as well. Speaking of Matthew, he's... Uh, yesterday traveled down to Charleston, South Carolina, where he'll be for the next month uh, for a music uh, choral opportunity. Uh, he was selected for a program, a great uh, privilege for him and honor. And uh, he'll continue to connect with us online throughout the weekend, but uh, won't be physically in Cincinnati with us until early June. Uh, tonight is a gathering at Philippus Church in person, 7 to 8.30 for a uh, conversation forum around the current mediation related to our bell tower and the third engineering report uh, that we will be receiving in the near future. Uh, Pastor Larry Donner has graciously agreed to facilitate the conversation. Uh, he will also be facilitating the same conversation on Zoom, which will be Thursday night at 8 o'clock, 8 until 9, it'll probably go until 9.30 to be the same length as the uh, in-person meeting. Uh, encourage you uh, uh, members, friends of the First Lutheran Faith community to uh, jump in either in person tonight, again 7 to 8.30 at Philippus Church, or tomorrow night on Zoom at 8 o'clock. Uh, the Zoom link has been emailed out in announcements uh, through the email last we sent out. I uh, hope you can make that there. Uh, the uh, lift up uh, ongoing journey with our partners in ministry with Philippus Church, um, Matthew and others in leadership have been in conversations around uh, what ministry looks like as we work together. Uh, worship, nurture, and service are three uh, key words that are being lifted up. And What does that look like? We had a potluck and talked about that. Uh, we have some ideas that uh, have been picked up on and we're trying to uh, uh, listen and, and hear what you had to say in those potluck conversations and, and, and uh, implement some of those ideas. Uh, so uh, encourage you to continue to remain engaged in our ministry at First Lutheran. Uh, lift up uh, today prayers for Gabrielle, who is uh, in should be returning to her, her home on tomorrow. Uh, she had surgery last week, uh, two weeks ago now, and uh, is recovering nicely. The doctor says things are looking pretty good, so uh, that's good news there. Uh, we pray for Helen as uh, she just celebrated her birthday on uh, May. May uh, Mother's Day was also her birthday. Uh, visited with Betty Hoffman, and uh, uh, we, uh, she's uh, uh, doing well, and uh, and a new 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 unit in her facility as well. So, uh, give thanks for that, and Holmes. Uh, with that, I would now, as I stand out here on this sunny day, and it's a little more silent now. The trains go headed down the tracks. I invite you to join with me in prayer. Gracious God, I come to you in prayer with uh, the virtual faith community on Facebook here on this Wednesday afternoon. Uh, thank you for uh, the beauty of the sunshine and the warmth that has finally arrived here in Cincinnati. Uh, we are mindful of those uh, we have named, or I've named already, uh, but also those that have not yet been named or uh, that we know in our hearts uh, and minds that are in need of prayer. Uh, we trust that you hear our supplications and, uh, and intercede and respond uh, according to your will. Uh, we pray for our world, for the ongoing conflict and strife in Ukraine. Uh, we pray for uh, our nation as our Supreme Court uh, journeys towards uh, a decision and release of a statement related to abortion. Uh, watch over our nation here in the coming weeks and months. 
uh, we pray for all life, the sanctity of life, uh, watch over, uh, watch over and uh, those who are challenged in making decisions concerning life, uh, control and, and, and decisions about their own body, uh, the lives you've entrusted to us as Mother's Day reminds us of, we are stewards of that gift uh, and, and, and it's precious, but, uh, but also we are mindful of the difficulties and the brokenness of our world and ask that you would give to us wisdom and give to us uh, uh, faithful language and hearts of uh, compassion here in the coming days and weeks. Uh, be with our faith community as we gather tonight, tomorrow night, uh, for conversations around mediation and an engineering report. Be with our faith community on Sunday as we gather to review ministry and our annual meeting in 2021 and uh, approve a ministry spend plan to be stewards of the financial resources you have entrusted to us. Uh, we ask that you watch over uh, each of us this day, uh, our comings and goings. Uh, may we find rest this night and may you watch over us until we can meet again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me here uh, on this afternoon. I look forward to again hopefully seeing you tonight or tomorrow night, uh, certainly on Sunday morning for worship. Uh, go in peace and share the love of God. Thanks be to God.